My name is Patrick Hoogerheide. I'm the chef owner of Bridge Seafood Restaurant down over Ship Creek. Today we've got a beautiful sockeye salmon. We're going to learn how to fillet it and cook it off on the grill. So the sockeye we have today is headed and gutted. The head has been removed right by the collar. So what we would normally do if the head was on is go down to the top, bring it through the collar. Then we have the guts have been removed on this as well. If we were doing it ourselves, we would come right on the back and move up slowly all the way to the front and remove the guts out. We've got a backbone right here. It goes all the way down, so it goes from tail to head, and then it has a Y shape to it. And then on these sides here are the pin bones, so those pin bones will be in there too. So those need to be removed and the backbone be removed. So now I'm going to take my knife, nice, sharp, flexible fillet knife is best, and we're going to go right on the backbone here. You're going to hear the bones start to crack, and we're going to slide it right up, really smooth, all the way along. Nice, not a sawing motion, but a nice smooth motion like that. And that will remove one fillet from the fish. So now that we have the fillet, we're going to take the pin bones and the belly bones out. So we're going to slowly come down the fillet with a nice sharp knife and just remove those bones right off the skin. So I'm just going to take this knife and I'm going to go where I actually angle the knife up so that it's touching the bones. So I lose, I do not remove much meat at all. I just want to get those bones off there and they go all the way down from the belly up. So they actually protect the belly area, like a little rib cage, obviously. We're gonna go all the way down, and then you get to the very last part right on the belly, where it comes right off. And now you've removed all those bones. Next, we're gonna remove the belly meat, as well as take the pin bones out, and then we'll put that on the grill. So there we go, we've removed the belly meat. So this is the entire belly. And then to clean this up, what we do is we just take the fin off right here. And then if I was going to use this for, let's say, uh, smoking or for a salmon fettuccine, I just take this. Once again, to get the skin off, I'm gonna angle my knife down. I feel the skin, and then I'm gonna actually make the skin do the work for me by pulling it like that. And that gives us a nice piece right there, which would be beautifully cut up for a fresh stir fry. So next we're gonna remove the pin bones from the salmon. So to do that, we have a pair of forceps that we've actually taken off the little lock. We've ground that down. Works really good because the bones are very fragile to pull them right out. When the salmon, uh, it's best if the salmon is about a day or so old and kept on ice because the rigor mortis lets the bones come out a lot easier. If you try to do it right after you caught the fish, you end up tearing the meat and it's not as easy to do. So I'm just gonna grab a hold of the tip and just wiggle it just a little bit to get it out. So what I'll do is I'll actually put my fingers on both sides as I pull it out and just hold it there and that keeps the meat from tearing uh, because the fish is very delicate at this point. And I just work all the way down. There we go. Now, And you can just feel one more time to see if you missed any. Pin bones have been removed, belly's off. We're going to cut it into our portion size, depending on the size of the grill. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this into three pieces. As you can see, I've left the skin on. And you have nice, about an inch, inch and a half piece. 